Hello, in this video we are going to discuss all of the stitch types that we have available in each tier of Chroma and we're also going to go over how to determine which stitch type to use as well as the different modes of inputting curves. So with Inspire, you have three stitch types, your run stitch, your classic satin, and your complex fill. You have the same stitch types available in Plus, and in the Lux version, you have a couple extras. You have a satin, and you have a steel stitch. So when we're determining which stitch type to use, we are going to figure out what object or what shape we're going to make. So a run stitch is a simple thin line and we'll use that to make details um, or any small um, area of stitching. We can also use this to uh, connect to sections uh, to avoid a trim. So your run stitch is your finest uh, detailed stitch. A satin stitch will be for smaller areas and the satin stitch will be used for some small details. Um, we can use this for any small um, circle or triangle um, and the satin stitch it does change um, depending on the size so you can only have a satin stitch that is so wide the sweet spot is about 0.8 inches and if we try to make it larger we do have this gapping problem and that is because we cannot have a stitch that is that long from point A to point B. The satin stitch you can make any shape you would like so you can make a, a square, a rectangle, a column, a triangle, um, whatever works for you. And the difference between the satin and the classic satin is our classic satin will be just for um, columns. And so the way that this one is going to work is we're going to start from the top, clicking left to right and moving our way down to create a vertical column and to create a horizontal column we would click from top to bottom first and then move our way to the right and now we have our stitches running the opposite direction the steel stitch looks like a satin stitch however this can be used for making open shapes. So I can make a rectangle with the steel stitch and it will be open instead of a fully closed in object. The steel stitch can be used for outlines, details. You can also use this um, to secure a patch to a garment, so different uses for the steel. The complex fill is for our larger areas of stitching, and we can make any shape with this, just clicking on our screen. And the complex fill, again, is used for filling in larger areas. So those are our stitch types. And now when we're creating curves in any of the stitches, we have different modes. If you go into your tools, general options, you will be able to see your modes under the digitizing tab. I have the outline input mode set to simple draw. You also have Bezier and you have Freehand. When you're in Freehand, you will see a pen that you can draw on the screen with 
and then it creates your shape. So since I'm in complex fill, I can create a shape, I can right click and it will fill it in. If I were using the run stitch, I can do the same and it creates a run. The other modes that we have is a simple draw. And when we're creating a stitch type in simple draw, we're going to use our control key or the command key to make our curves. So as I hold down command, I can curve the line. And if I release it, I can make straight lines. This works with all of your stitch types. So whether you're using your run, your steel, or your complex fill, you can curve by using control or command. And the last mode that we have is our bezier. And when we're using the bezier, we're going to click and drag in order to make a curve. So I can click and drag for whichever type of curve I need. And again, this can be done in any stitch type. I'm in steel, I'm in run, or I can do it in complex fill. If you want to switch between modes, you can do that by using your shortcut keys. We have the F for freehand. We have the B for bezier. And we have S for simple draw. And now I'm going to hold control to make my curve. So I can switch back and forth between each mode, even on the same object to make it easier for me to maneuver around my screen. Hope you learned a lot. Leave us some comments below and email us with any additional questions you have. Thank you for watching.